Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Remus Hozu for BlueFX.net and this time we are going to take a look at some useful tips for handling your logo. Maybe you have a project or you've just bought a template and you're ready to import your logo to the project and render it, but first there are some things you need to know. Now, your logo will most likely be in Adobe Illustrator vector format, which is .ai or .eps, and we'll see how to import it directly to After Effects and scale it up without losing quality by rasterizing it. We'll also take a look at exporting your logo in high resolution with transparency using Adobe Illustrator. But what if your logo is just a JPEG file with a non-transparent background? Well, in this case, we'll see how to remove the background and create transparency using Adobe Photoshop. You can import your vector logo file to After Effects and use it as it is. Let's go ahead and make a new composition, half HD, 1280 by 720, and white solid so we can see better. Right click in the project area and select Import File. Import your logo and drag it in the composition area. Okay, so far so good, but the problem is that when we try to scale it up, it loses quality. Well, to fix this, we just need to check the little sun-shaped icon, which has the function of rasterizing the layer. So now we have a clear and crisp logo, although it's been scaled up. Another way to scale up your logo without losing quality is by using Adobe Illustrator. Just open up the file and go to File, Export and select PNG. The higher the resolution, the bigger the output file will be, but generally 300 ppi is enough. Also, don't forget to set the background color to transparent. So, let's take a look at our PNG logo. In some cases, the logo is just a JPEG file with a non-transparent background. To remove the background, we will use Adobe Photoshop. Open up the file and double-click on the background layer to create a new editable layer. Now, select the magic wand tool or hit W on the keyboard. If you don't see the magic wand tool, then you need to press Shift W to bring it up. Okay, so We'll go ahead and select the background. Hold down Shift for multiple selection. And finally, press Delete. And now you have a transparent background. You can save your file as a Photoshop native format PSD or as a PNG. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you again soon.